Hello, welcome fellow traders. AMP Futures here presenting another how to video. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate how to use Market Replay with the TradingView mobile app. Now, Market Replay is a really nice feature. It's specifically designed for you to go back in time, see history on a specific date and time as far as the market that you might be trading and see actually what took place. This might be ideal, for example, if you just don't simply have the time to watch the markets on a day-to-day -day basis, perhaps you work a full-time day job, and you want to be able to see what took place on a specific time in history, back in history that is, for the markets that you might be trading, and Market Replay is going to allow you to do that. So first things first, on the bottom right corner of your TradingView mobile app, you'll notice where it shows menu, right above it, you'll see there's a button with three dots. We're going to click that button with three dots, and you'll see Bar Replay on the right side. We're going to select Bar Replay. So the first thing we'll notice that we're going to have to do is set a date and time or what type of market replay we want to be able to create. And what I mean by type, if you notice right above on the bottom left where it says MES U202, you'll see a little calendar icon and you'll notice to the right of it there's a little arrow pointing down. So if I click that little arrow, these are the different replay timing options that you can select. You can select a specific bar on the chart, you can select a specific date and time, or just any random bar. So for today's example, let's choose select date option. Once we do this, the select date display will populate and you'll now be able to set a date and time. So let's go ahead and click the calendar icon at the top there. Let's choose the 29th as an example. Today's the 30th, Tuesday, but we're gonna choose yesterday, Monday, July 29th. We'll hit done. Now you can see the date has adjusted to the 29th and now we're gonna select the time to the right of it and we'll start it from six in the morning. All right, so in this case, we're gonna market. We're gonna do market replay starting from July 29th from six in the morning. Once done, hit the select button at the bottom. All right, and now you can see the market replay is ready to go. You can see on the chart the very first candle that or last candle that you see there is starting exactly at six in the morning. A couple things I want to point out as the market replay toolbar at the bottom there, at the bottom of the chart, you can actually place trades off market replay. Just simple market orders. You can see sell. You see the order quantity in the middle, the buy button, as well as flatten. Now let's go over some of the commands that you see in Market Replay. So for the first thing we want to do is actually start the Market Replay by clicking the play button underneath the red sell button. Watch what happens when I click the sell button, you'll notice that the play button will turn into a pause button. So essentially that's going to be your pause and play button. So here's me pausing it, you can see the play button is active. If I hit play, now the pause button is active. Now right now I have it on the slowest setting where you can see it where it shows 0.1x. So if I click where it shows 0.1x, this will give me the different replay speed options. You can see there's a few different options, 10x being the fastest and 0.1x being the slowest. So here's an example. If I bump it up to 1x, notice now the market replay is speeding up. If I go back to the market replay speed settings and go back to 0.1, now I'm back to the slowest setting. Now the button to the right of the pause and play button, which is the play button with the single line, kind of right, uh, right almost in between the, uh, the quarter quantity and the buy button, that's going to allow you to jump bar to bar. So instead of you choosing a replay speed, you can just jump bar to bar. So watch what happens when I click it. That's the next bar. If I click it again, that's the next bar. Click it again, that's the next bar. So this allows you to speed up the replay, but just move bar for bar. We've already covered the replay speed, which is where you see 0.1x. And then the button to the right of it, where you see the play button with two lines, that's going to take you to currently active data. So you can see now the market replay toolbar has become disabled because now we're no longer looking at market replay data. We're just looking at actual charts. To disable the market replay altogether, you'll click the X that you'll notice on the far right side there, right above the button with three dots. And now we're completely, we've completely disabled market replay. And this is how you access market replay using the TradingView mobile app. 